In this video, we're going to discuss how to split shipments on purchase orders. Um, if you're placing a shipment or an order, uh, usually orders are referred to as purchase orders. So this is new inventory from a supplier or a manufacturer. Uh, sometimes it happens where you have to split the shipment. Maybe half of it's going by ocean, the other half by, by airplane, or you're splitting it between two different marketplaces, such as the US and Canada. Coming from the same supplier, same purchase order, but going to two different locations, you would, of course, split the shipment. This has nothing to do with FBA. So when you're creating a shipping plan, and sometimes they'll tell you to send some of your shipment to, you know, Fulfillment Center A and another bunch of it to Fulfillment Center B, that has nothing to do with splitting shipments in so stock. We're just talking about placing purchase orders, so keep that in mind. Splitting shipments can be done when you initially create a purchase order or after it's been created. Sometimes you don't know whether you're going to have to split the shipment or not, so that's why we give you those two options. So to split the shipment on PO creation, there's two places you can create your purchase order, of course, from your forecast page. We're going to keep a real simple one here. So um, you can do it here, or of course from any page you can go up here and create a new purchase order. I prefer to place my new purchase orders from the forecast page because it uh, it will auto-populate the supplier, the, the, the quantity, and the default lead time and all that. So that, that just speeds things up a little bit more. So obviously we'll create a PO number, and I won't go through the whole purchase order process here, but if you notice down here in the bottom right area uh, from the shipping and logistics section, you have a split shipment button. We've also added a couple of options in the dropdown. You can add as a new blank shipment, you can duplicate the shipment and the quantities, or you can split it in half. So for this example, I'm going to duplicate the shipment and shipping quantities. And as you can see, it literally just duplicates 166 and 166. Um, so stock is not going to do the math for you on this. So if you're shipping a portion of it, let's say I want to send 100 uh, by my default lead time, which is going to my warehouse. And then from there, it'll be dispersed appropriately or accordingly to FBA. And then the other portion of it, the other 66 units I'm going to send on an airplane, uh, you would have to actually do that math. So just keep that in mind. Now, very important, on your second shipment, you have to choose a different lead time because lead time determines where the shipment is going, right? So it's just going to use your default lead time. So if you have a different lead time, like this one's going to go air freight, it's going to head direct to FBA so that we don't stock out. You want to confirm that so it can you can see here uh, this should arrive uh, to the FBA on May 19th, and this one should arrive to my warehouse on June 17th, and then from there we'll disperse it to FBA. So that's basically how you do it on the PO creation. The other way you can split a shipment is by choosing an existing purchase order that you've already created. You can do it right here from the order tracker, or you can click up here on purchase orders, and you can either search PO number or scroll through and find the PO that you want to split. If you click on the card on the order tracker, it will pull up this preview page where you can split the order right here. And it's you split it the same way we talked about previously. Or if you search by purchase order and you click on it, then you can split the shipment as we talked about before. And just so you can see what it looks like when the shipment is split in the order tracker, um, here's an example. So PO number 123, and you can see its final destination is Amazon, and then PO number 123 final destination warehouse, if you hover over it, it will tell you where it's going. So if you notice, it, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's a dotted line or a dashed line around the edge of that card. That means it's a split shipment. So the color indicates what supplier it's coming from, same supplier, and then of course you can see that this is the same PO going to two different locations. So that just makes it easy to track two different shipments, same purchase order. So those are the two ways you can split a shipment. Hope you found that helpful.